All right, Jake here, and this is where I'm at on the Inslee. Can't find a starter for it or anything. I really don't want to pay an outrageous amount of money for it. So I come up with this idea. <clears throat> I got this little five horsepower Briggs and Stratton I found in a shed, and I'm gonna try it for that. And what I come up with, I just folded it to a piece of board just for simplicity and. And then I had a belt on it, something like this, back onto the armature of an old starter I found, and it'd be the right starter, but that thing's pretty well toasted, and I'm not screwing around getting something rebuilt just to see if it's gonna run or not, and I'm just gonna try with this, and we had it working, we had it turning over, it was just turning the engine over slowly, and sadly I kind of lost the footage of uh, the up close and looking at it so I figured do a quick video on it but yeah I had it set up something like that and it was turning the engine over and that and it was a little too slow and couldn't get the fire it just spun a little too slow well what I come up with now is this an old two pulleys it's a little bigger shaft I'll have to machine something out of it and yeah I'm hoping that's gonna do it for it to get me running at least good idea and it's worked so far and just gotta mess around a little bit more anyway that's it okay this is kind of what I've come up with here for this uh, starter for the Detroit but this thing where it turns and that now right here yeah you, you pull to engage it out and as far as I can tell this one should Work for my starter for the Inslee. Thank you. 